Hello, my friends, and welcome back to Fallout 3. In yesterday's video, we spent another day in the Citadel, but I feel like I feel like we're getting close. My only goal today is to finish up the Citadel and leave. I have enjoyed my time here. Don't mistake me, but I would like to be elsewhere now. But there are other people that walked hey off. There was this um, Artemis person. Hello. What aid can I offer you, outsider? I don't know if I talked to him before. Oh, I did talk to him before, so. Steel be, Steel be with you. I can go back to here. And then there's the child that's here. We spoke to them. Hail. Him at the end of the day yesterday. And okay, so now I'm gonna go into this room, whoever's room this is. Oh, Citadel personal terminal, or personnel terminal? I think it says personnel terminal, not personal. Um, Lion's Pride recruiting. Due to the tragic death of Paladin Redden. Oh, see, now they make Pal Redden a Paladin in this one. Lion's Pride now has one opening, effective immediately. <laughs> if you can't shoot an ugly from 150 yards blindfolded, don't waste don't waste my time, Senatal Lions. Whose room is this? Find the little boy's room. The Maxim kid. Maxin, not Maximum. I, you know what? I'm moving on. I'm just gonna mumble my way through today, apparently. Uh, I won't steal because they're Hail. right here. Hail. Solar. I'm shutting the door behind me. You guys don't need to come with me. <laughs> oh, information terminal. I feel like I've read that one before. Yes, I have. An empty dresser. Somebody's fancy room, I gotta say. Oh, I see, I see things to get. Empty trunk. Okay, Elder Owen Lyons, personal log one. Okay. According to our latest reconnaissance report, Enclave soldiers have taken complete control of the Project Purity facility. They brutally murdered innocent scientists, including James. He went there to revive the project and died for his efforts. They will answer for their crimes. I haven't worked so hard just to sit idly oh. by and watch the Enclave undo what little we've accomplished here. Hello, child. Can you, can you go away so that... Hello. I, I would like you to leave, please. Got a second? What is what that? Is Combat knife. I heard Elder Lyons talking to Rothschild. Sounds like even he's worried about the Enclave. I'm like, Can get out. Paranoid? So I've got one and three. I need, I need two. We All right. Fend off the so let's try to, now we have a new threat to pick this with. wall safe. Very hard. So it's going to take me many a minute. I'm sure. Got it. 300 bottle caps. Oh, here's a personal log. Smuggler's End, ooh. Well, let's exit and listen to the personal log too. Here I sit in the safety of the Citadel while the people of the Wasteland thirst and suffer and die. Here I sit a failed, feeble old man. What have I really accomplished? How many have I truly helped? The super mutants still roam rampant. The people still die of thirst and radiation. The Western elders cease to acknowledge my existence. Some of my own people have even gone outcast. And now the Enclave, technologically superior, infinitely resourceful. The time has come to pass the mantle to more able hands. But is she ready? Oh, his daughter. All right, well, let me unlock his very hard terminal. Squire Maxon progress report. Squire Maxon's training is proceeding well, and the boy certainly has an aptitude for small arms. But I often worry about his emotional state. He is a child surrounded by killers, being groomed to become a killer himself. Yeah, that's that's not a very good environment to raise a child, probably. Maybe I've become too cynical, too soft in my old age, but I wish I could give the boy a normal childhood. Ironic, considering his upbringing is so much like my own. 
Maybe that's what scares me. Uh, how about your daughter's upbringing too? Maybe Sarah's birthday. I mustn't forget Sarah's birthday this year. Perhaps I'll send Cross to Riffit City to peruse the shops and pick something up, something pretty. Sarah may have forgotten she's a woman, but I haven't, and neither have the rest of the brothers, judging by the looks they give her. Oh dear. I feel like she would shoot them. <laughs> yeah, I have lost right. karma. Everybody's Hail. nervous about the Enclave. Don't worry, I'm sure we got it. Don't even think of breaking into that. Yeah, okay, sure. I, I'm gonna <laughs> save. We're gonna do the very easy one. What does this kid have to say? Hi, Squire Maxon. How's the best kid in the Citadel doing today? All diary entry one. Stupid Scribe Rothschild in his stupid lab. All I wanted to do was talk to the robot and see if he can be, oh, see if he'd be my friend. So what if he can't walk? Oh, diary entry two. Yesterday, Sarah taught me how to kill a man by stabbing him in the kidneys. I think I'm in love. That is so, moving on. Story of the Guardians of Gillyfrond. Whatever shall we do, Mr. Wallingsworth, Molly asked. Mother will be home shortly, and I've yet to clean my room. Heavens my, heavens me. Don't fret, Molly Golly. We'll enlist a little help. That's all. Mr. W Is this the one about the teddy bear who gets the toys to do the cleaning for her? Yeah. It is. I don't, I don't need to read this one again, because I've read it before. And then poem song of the light man? Tweedle Dumpling Tweedle Dare, curse the younglings if you care, for theirs is youth and joy and power. Five made one in the light man's tower. And when they come, these five of sun, the light man's progeny have won. So sound the trumpets clear and loud and think beyond the eastern shroud. Guns and bullets? Vargas doesn't know I've been reading his copy of Guns and Bullets and I should probably keep it that way. I mean, it's right there under his bunk in the den. What did he expect? I mean, I guess if you really needed a gun and bullets, you could go there and get one. Yeah, I'm stealing from a kid. I mean, look at my karma. My karma is probably perfect. I am the light bringer. <laughs> I'm so angelic. Looks like it's late enough in the day to where people are sleeping backwards in their beds. Citadel pers Personnel Terminal. Yes. Squire Max and Bailey. Wait, important Squire Max and Bailey access. By order of Elder Lion, Squire Maxon is not to be given unsupervised access to the Bailey while live fire practice is in effect. Is he like me and he just walks in the line of fire? Like, I understand. I'm hidden. I'm, I'm losing karma. Okay. Hospital. Oh, is this where the robot's at? Presence detected. <laughs> this unit has activated. Sawbones. Oh, Please that's great. State the nature of the medical emergency. Hi. I have to go now. Unit deactivating. This troop is hitting the rack. Great. There's, there's another terminal. Citadel Medical Terminal. Very hard. Can I unlock it? Well, let's try. That took forever. But it says, hey, Sawbones, you dumb son of a bitch. This is Glade. I hacked your terminal again. Now change your password before I delete all your stupid robot poetry. What? <laughs> Casualty report. Paladin Blanchett, honorable death in combat. Redden, honorable death in combat. Stein is MIA, presumed dead. Sawagachi, Sw honorable death. Casterly, honorable death. Arturo suicide, and Nelly and Conard, honorable death, Patriarchus MIA, Verona MIA, Ruo honorable death, Mintana, Porter Loring training accident, Jennings honorable death in combat. Hmm. Notes on Pen Pendleton appendectomy. Rotary saw was effective, but suturing of incision proved ineffective. High intensity heat cauterization proved successful. Um, <laughs> operation outcome success. I'm laughing at the patient pain discomfort level was irrelevant. 
<laughs> oh my god. This is the worst robot doctor. Probability of future procedure, 100%. <laughs> Hovering contemplatively, a poem. Brotherhood of steel, blood is red. Ionic, medical pulse, beams are blue. Steel is better than flesh and artificial intelligence. Subprocessors are too. Okay. Medical storage lock override. Oh yeah. Where's that at? Wait. Oh no, I'm detected. I'm detected. Do you think I can take it anyway? Well, I don't need to. Let's just put it that way. Presence detected. This I, unit has activated. I do not want you to um, ever perform any surgery on me at all whatsoever. All right. Oh, look, they're in regular, regular clothes. I mean, one would certainly hope you would take off the power armor to go to sleep, but I honestly didn't think you would. <laughs> Oh, there's something actually in the desk. It's fine. I won't. I won't steal right now. No, he's sleeping in his power armor. They do sleep in their power armor. Uh, you know what? I don't. I honestly probably don't need anything else. Um, is this the way that I came in? Hail. Hi. Let's see. Yes, it is the way that I came in. Okay. Yeah, I know I'm going back to where I just was, but I Hail. want to go out this door over here just to make sure I didn't miss anything, and I don't think I have. Hail. Hi. What is up here? Oh, it's just another exit to the courtyard. You know what? That's perfect. We finished. <laughs> we finished. Again, I enjoyed my time here, but I'm very glad to be done. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm going to head back to Megaton because I'm going to drop off some stuff and then we're gonna go do something different. Something very different, something not the main quest. Something you guys have been recommending that I hey. do. <gasps> Vault 101 emergency signal found. That's what you guys have been telling me I should be getting. <laughs> I got it. But hang on, we need to go in, drop off some stuff. I was gonna be prepared to like wait for 14 days. I took notes, I wrote it down. All right, well I did do what I wanted to do when I came to Megaton, which was drop off power armor, excess guns and whatnot, because I did plan on going to Vault 101 to, like I said, do, do the waiting for 14 days, but apparently I don't need to. So we can just go to Vault 101 Emergency Frequency. This is an automated <laughs> distress message from Vault Tech. Vault 101. Message begins. It feels like you left home a long time ago, but I know you're still out there. I just hope you're still alive to hear this. Things got worse after you left. My father's gone mad with power. If you can hear this, please stop looking for your dad and help stop mine. I changed the door password to my name. If you're hearing this, and if you still care enough to help me, you should remember it. Message repeats. This is I was like, Amato. Um, what, what's her name again? <laughs> Amada. I'm like, I know it begins with an A, but it's not Agatha. Trouble on the home front. Keep hitting J like journal, like that's going to pull something up. No, that's not how that works. Um, data quests. Return to Vault 101. We're gonna go. <laughs> I'm very excited to see what's what's go. Oh, your your megalomaniac. Oh, look, there's dog meat. Hi. No, you have to stay here. I don't need your heavy breathing with me. Hi. Thank you. Hi. 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 Hi, puppers. But anyway, as I was saying, oh, your megalomaniac dad um, went crazy. Power hungry or something like that. No doubt. What is Radio 101? This is the overseer. Any vault resident seen associating with the so-called rebels will be detained, questioned, and disciplined appropriately. Oh dear. Order will be restored. Discipline will be restored. Vault security personnel have been authorized to use deadly force if necessary. 
Don't let it come to that. Haven't you always been happy? Haven't we always been a, a family? <laughs> no. Amata, stop this madness. You're disrupting everyone's life, everyone's happiness. Come home. Just come home. And everything can be the way it was. This is the Overseer. Any Vault resident seen associating with the so-called Okay, rebels now we're now we're repeating. Okay, questioned. hang on. Stop. Thank you. Mata password entered. Learn what happened to Vault 101. I'm gonna be greeted by a person a red dot already. So it seems that the skeleton nope, skeletons are still there. Exit prohibited by overseer strictly enforced. Oh uh, my, oh my. Oh no! Jim Wilkins? Huh. Oh, there's rad roaches. Hello. Oh, that was weird. Steve Armstrong. Oh no. Security helmet. Stop right there. I don't know how you got in here, but... Hold on. Hi. Wait a minute. It's you. I hardly recognized you with all the dust and grime from out there. <laughs> Guess that explains how you got that door open. Yeah. You've got more experience with it than most everyone down here combined. Where the hell is Amana? So help me if you've heard her. I need to talk with Amana. I got her message. I just thought I'd stop back home for a bit. How's the old vault? <laughs> Don't mind me. I'm just here to pick up some of my stuff. I left mine. We're going to go with this one. Third one. You just thought you'd pop in? <laughs> Don't take this the wrong way. But you probably ought to just turn around and not come back. Things, well... They haven't gone very well since you and your dad left. It seems like this it. This isn't the happy vault you grew up in anymore. There's real trouble. What sort of trouble do you mean? What happened down here since I left? I always knew something would go wrong down here. I mean, it's vault tech, so after Mabel's experience, she should have figured that out. Let's go with the middle one. Everything went crazy is what happened. Your dad opened that door. Bugs started attacking and people started going crazy. When the smoke cleared, there were a lot of casualties and not many answers. Didn't help that our doctor had just left either. Yeah, that probably didn't, didn't help. Doctor would be, doctor, Do Dr. Dad would be horrified to know all that if he were still alive. That was never supposed to happen. That was the overseer's fault. Yeah, dad screwed up all our lives that day, didn't he? I'm, I'm kind, kind of, uh, yeah, you can make that argument, I guess. Let's, um... Let's go with the middle one, though. Really? Well, that would explain a few things, all right? It's a good thing you're here after all. Thanks. After that night, a lot of your friends started thinking, if it's safe to go outside, why stay down here forever? Yeah. And that's not the sort of thing the Overseer likes to hear. Things have gotten pretty tense. I could see people wanting to leave... But I mean, living in a vault, as long as raiders don't get in, I, I feel like would be somewhat secure. And if there's no experiments being performed on you. Uh, but anyway, so what now? Well, let me through. I've got work to do. So let's first one. I probably ought to put you under arrest and take you into the Overseer. But frankly, I know better than to try that. Meanwhile, some of your old friends think opening the vault is a good idea. I bet those rebels would like a word with you. Now more than ever. Mm-hmm. Of course, if you want, you can just walk away as if you were never here. Out of respect for your dad, I won't even tell anyone I saw you. Could you lead me somewhere? Wait, why don't the rebels just leave? This is too messed up. I'm leaving again. Just pretend I never came back. I'll, I'll go see what I can do about all this. 
Let's go try the second one. It's not that they want to leave. It's that they want to open the door and interact with the rest of the world. But that would risk the whole vault. I mean, like I said, it would be risky, but you could have, you know, I don't know, more gene pool. <laughs> you can bring in new blood into the vault, as it were. Trade, that kind of thing. Can you lead me somewhere? I wonder where that's going to go. I guess you've had a lot on your mind since you were here last. Where do you want to go? I need to see Amada lead me to her. I think I'd like to have a talk with the overseer. Take me to... Never mind. Okay, then. <laughs> Officer Gomez is like, you're really weird. I'm sure I can find Amada on my own. Hopefully. The map will probably tell me where she is. She's that way. What's over here? Really? <laughs> Gosh, Mabel. The power armor mess up your aim? Probably. I don't really need much out of boxes or anything like that. I'm just kind of looking for information. Okay, so where is that? I've never been able to go that way before. Keep out authorized personnel only. Okay, let's save. So I want to see Amada first, not Overseer. Oh, is it just a dead end? It's just a dead end. I mean, he is so dead, he went flying. <laughs> Okay, so here we shall go. To the atrium upper level. That's it, old man. We're opening that door and to hell with the overseer's rules. You know, I can't do that, Freddy. Now <laughs> get back down below before I have to do something we'll both regret. What? You're gonna lock me up like you did to Brotch? You can't cage a tunnel snake, man, because oh, we geez. rule! Stay back! No, 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 no! Cut You're it crazy! Out. Don't you know enough to stay away? Who is Officer Taylor? You almost shot Freddy! What's going on down here? I mean, all these questions. Okay, so you almost shot Freddy. Let's start there. I didn't mean to fire. I really didn't. I just wanted to scare him off. But he had a knife. I can't be too careful with those rebels. He has a knife. You have a gun. Like, calm down. Tell me about the rebels. I tell you, I'm scared of them. I never know when they're going to try something dangerous. What happened down here? I lost my poor wife Agnes is what happened. And all the chaos and fighting... Her old ticker just couldn't take it anymore. Oh. Uh, I have to go now. Yes, you do. <laughs> He's like, get out. Upper level. Store. All one on lower level. Where is? All right, let's. The red it means it's locked. Lower level cafeteria, is that where she is? Camera. Oh no, Janice Wilkins. So we're like the kids fighting the the adults. Is that what's happening a little bit here? Reactor. Apartments. 
This seems like so much bigger of an area than when I was here last. There's a cigar lounge, for goodness sake. Common room. Gentlemen. Storage. Oh no, Chip Taylor. I don't even know who all these people are. <laughs> Where did you guys all come from? Door to Vault 101, Atrium Upper Level. Okay, hang on, that's the bathroom. Let me close that, because I want to come back. Wally Mac. Hello. Hello. Oh boy, are you in trouble? What happened down here? You should have seen my pop. He personally saved old Stanley. But guess you wouldn't know what it's like to have a hero for a dad, would you? Excuse me? Tell me about the rebels? What do you expect from idiots like them? Oh. I'm just glad I was done with Butch's stupid gang before they got involved in all this. Okay. Yes, you do. Bye. Oh, now he's gonna look up. I don't I don't need any more wall jumpsuits at all. This was the the men's bathroom. I, I'm just looking to see if there's like bodies at this point. And I'm guessing this is the ladies' room. Hey. There's This where Butch's mom lived. Yeah, Ellen Deloria. You're back again? Tell me about the rebels. They're a bunch of hellions, that's what they are. <laughs> I'm at my wit's end about them. I really am. What happened down here? It's all kind of blurry for me. <laughs> but I hear I owe you for saving me. But don't expect much. The whole thing was your dad's fault in the first place. I mean, like... Yes, you do. <laughs> this lady's crazy. And we have Stanley. I don't know that I should be talking with you. What happened down here? With all of the bugs and fires, there was an awful lot of strain on the systems down on the reactor level. Our water chip's pretty delicate right now, but I'm working on setting her right again. Tell me about the rebels. It's just a phase they're going through. Every <laughs> kid thinks they want to leave the vault at some point, but we all grew out of it. Or you were forced to grow out of it. Yes, you do. And a baseball bat. Okay. I like your shoes, Stanley. Hello. I really shouldn't be seen talking with you. I already... I'm leaving again, just pretend I never came back. I'll go see what I can do about all this. Well, okay. Just be careful down here. The vault's changed, I tell you. Yeah. More apartments. Good to see you. Pepper Gomez? Can't you just leave us alone? The bugs were horrible, but my family was pretty lucky. But then my Freddy went and got caught up with those idiot rebels. Those kids are risking our entire vault just because they're bored. <laughs> it's horrible. They're so ungrateful. Yes, you do. <laughs> oh, this is great. Oh my gosh, it's like the vault like grew in size. Morning. Why won't you just leave us alone? I have done enough damage. Look, it was not my fault. Geez, Dad, you really messed up everybody, didn't you? Okay, so I need to. I'm assuming this is the dot to get to Amada. There was the diner. Okay. Then.
atrium is where I came from, I think. So the reactor. Actually, I don't know how I get to Amada. I'm all turned around. The reactor is where I came to do my... Um... Shooting with... With Dad all, that, all those times ago. Do I go this way to get to Amada? No, I'm going the wrong way again as usual. This way? Yeah, it's this way. Damn. Look who's come waltzing back into the vault. Hi. It takes some real balls coming back here after everything you and your dad screwed up. But if you've got to be back, might as well make yourself useful. You gotta help us. Help? What kind of help? What makes you think I came back to help you? <laughs> First one. What sort of help do you think I mean? You must have heard about the changes since you left, right? No. The deaths, the lies, the whole overseer lockdown thing? Ringing any bells? No. Man, they'd have rushed in here long ago if they didn't know I stole one of their guns from when they issued martial law. Anyway, you gotta help us get out of here. You gotta help me get out of here. I mean, it's all about Bush, isn't it? Don't worry, I'm trying to help the entire vault. Why do you, yeah, why do you need to get out of here so badly? Because anything up there has got to be better than a lifetime of the same thing down here. Oh. Think about it, man. Down here, I'll always be stuck with the same job, with the same food, with the same people forever. You and your dad had the right idea. Get out of this pit and make your own life. It is a little complicated outside the vault. Butch, what do you do in the vault? What do you think you're going to do outside? Why should I help you, Butch? What happened that night? What night? Uh, let's try the first one. The damn goat said I'm supposed to be a hairdresser, but that ain't me. Really? I'm a barber. You got that? <laughs> There's a difference. Okay. All right. Can you give me a haircut? What do you think you're going to do outside? I'll start a gang, of course. Of course. Why, it'll be the toughest, coolest, badassest gang the Wasteland's ever seen. Hey, play your cards right. Maybe I'll even let you join it, huh? Wow. I mean, hey, I'm already in the tunnel, Snakes. You gave me your jacket and everything. Yeah. You have no idea how many gangs of idiot raiders are out there. I bet you're a mole rat chow before you make it one day. I, he probably might be. Well, let's try the... Let's, let's, mm, let's do the first one. Yeah, but I'm thinking it'll be a new gang. <laughs> we ain't gonna just be in tunnels, you know. Besides, there's gonna be a lot more people who want to join. Competition's gonna be tough. No, no, it's not. Why should I help you? What happened that night? Let's go do that one. I heard old Stanley complaining a lot of the stuff down in the reactor got fried pretty bad. Uh, nothing too bad, yet. But he's always worrying we'll lose air filtration or whatever. Um... Of course, if that happened, guess we'd all have to leave the vault then, huh? Hmm. Why should I help you, Butch? Oh, I could sabotage Vault 101. Because you've always been a goody two-shoes. So when I need help... It's what you're going to do, right? Not really. You're going to help Amada anyway, right? Just make it so we can leave the vault, and I'll leave and never bother you again. I, I, I don't believe you. Bye. Catch you later. Maybe. Maybe. I can maybe join his gang. <laughs> I'm like, he would get picked up by the raiders and eaten alive and it would it would almost be funny to watch but anyways i'm gonna pause Hello. things here today because it sounds like i might be near mata and i want to make sure i don't need to rush through the conversation but in tomorrow's video we will continue along in vault 101 and try to get to the bottom of what actually happened it's been a lot of vagueness at least to me anyway but as always thank you so very much for watching please do keep yourselves safe and i will see you again tomorrow with another new fallout 3 video